what's up guys we're here from vip shop management today i want to talk about balance sheet we did some upgrade to balance sheet if you're not up to date make sure you click on help check for update and 712 we added some new features some cool features we're gonna check it out let's go to the balance sheet and go to balance sheet right here uh i think i added this long time ago which is you can delete all the, if you made a mistake or something you want to delete all this you can delete all these item and start all over again the way balance sheet works for the new customers is go to monthly expenses add every uh, expense especially their recurring expense like rent uh, electric bill water bill and all that and once you add in the beauty of that uh, to do every month basically auto populate so if we're doing june we got to auto populate and it fills everything automatically you're supposed to do the month after it's finished but let's talk about the new feature what are the new features uh, one of them is when you type when you type right here you're gonna see it will auto populate your vendors that's something that we did not have we added that and we added parts right here i know we have cost of goods but you can put it under parts or tires so you can keep that up yeah if you want to keep it this way um let's say we paid AutoZone today one thousand and twenty five dollars and let's say we paid them cash we added uh ach basically electronic with withdraw so we added this uh, function uh functionality here and just click on uh, say paid check click on add and so we're going to see the AutoZone right there is being added. It's kind of organized automatically by alphabetic, but keep in mind you can always like like click on the the, the header and it will it will organize like by by payment type or amount or category. But let's add another let's say, you know, uh, next week AutoZone came back and we paid him um let's say two thousand and twenty five dollar and we paid him a check and let's say fine was on the 24th and if you look right there so we're gonna see AutoZone. there's AutoZone, and there's AutoZone right there and uh, so we have we added a, a new bond what if i want to know how much i paid AutoZone? just AutoZone. first of all we added something called search so i can search up top and say AutoZone is going to show me AutoZone. so if you have multiple um, uh, if you have multiple uh, like uh, part supplier you can search by it just to print and you can print just that keep that in mind so if I can click on print we added print preview here so you can see so I can just print AutoZone all the all the checks that I paid AutoZone uh, this month yeah I'm gonna see the payment date when I paid it and all that so that's kind of really really cool um, let's let's go back Another thing we added, we added something called collapse and expand. What is that? What will, what will that do? If there's two AutoZone, what if I want to know how much I paid AutoZone um, this month? So I just click on collapse. Basically, we'll add whatever is similar with the same description, has the same des description of expense. Uh, we'll add it together. So if you look now, AutoZone 3050, let's, let's uh, expand it back. It was 1000 in 2025 collapse. It was not just it's going to collapse everything that's similar. So anything that you're paying uh, during the month, uh, especially this is going to happen when, when it comes to uh, parts supplier. Say you're paying someone else. It will it will add them together and it'll give you the total and you can print it um, uh, and you can print the total. So if I we go back and try to print right now and uh, let's just zoom out so you can see AutoZone is three thousand and fifty dollars so you can you can add them all together all right let's talk about one more feature that we added uh, let's go back to um, expand or collapse all right so we're going to see the expenses right here the most thing that more which maybe you should have started with that so there is your net sales. This is from VIP directly. So if you go to May, this is in the net sales. But now there's something called deposit and additions. Basically, you can add the magical number from your bank account. So uh, you know, I, just because you sold sixty nine thousand nine hundred and eleven, that doesn't mean your bank account is gonna reflect it. It's gonna be it's either more or less. 
well instead of you know not knowing or 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 we have to go to your bank account click on statement now let's just add that number so now you have the ability to add that number right there um, let's see how do we add a number so let's say I want to add July and uh, say I sold it. you on your bank statement it should say under deposit and additions basically the amount of money that went in that account for that period of time and let's say we we did um, let's say 45,000 and click on save so why is that cool now we can see we can compare now like uh, that your net sales bait into your your the amount of money went to your bank account instead of going back and forth and when you print uh, you're gonna see it right here on the print to move myself again at the bottom you're gonna see deposit and addition so that's your bank account this is gonna be zero unless you add it yourself from your bank statement and you're gonna see the net sales total expenses and, and net profit based on your net sales not based on your bank account this is just for your information another thing we added is uh, cash card and ACH and check so now we can definitely compare whatever we have in expenses uh, to the bank account if you're obviously if you're adding everything but now we, we, we can see our, it's automatically calculated the cash uh, the amount of money that's the amount of expenses that uh, we're expending cash card or electronic withdrawal or check um, uh, one more thing you know, when you click on yearly balance sheet if I click on that now it will bring give you the like I, I don't think it was saying that cash if okay so here's here's what's up right here let's understand this for a second so if rent if you pay in rent every time cash in this in this case all of them cash and if I if I switch it to yearly and let's go back to rent right there cash so as long as you're paying them the same way it will tell you well it's fifteen thousand six hundred dollars in cash if it's cash and credit it will it will give you the three dashes that mean it was different than cash and credit i'm talking about only yearly uh, the point of the whole yearly is i'd like to know how much i spend on rent the whole year i'd like i'd like to know how much i spend on vip shop management the whole year i'd like to know how much i spend it on dte the whole year so that's the whole year and let's try to print it out see how that look like and zoom out so that's that's the expenses i mean you can again we all our job is to prepare you for uh for the taxes to 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 give it to your accountant or if you're doing your own taxes uh, instead of doing the calculator yourself we want to add this stuff for you so if you look on rent um you're gonna see rent right there you spend fifteen thousand six hundred dollars so it adds everything together based on the, na the same description name if they if we cannot add it together then it, it keeps it as a single item so um what else another thing which is really important what if i wanna what if i wanna do um i wanna see let's say i'm filing my taxes myself because when you when you file for taxes it's not gonna say water bill it's gonna say utilities so what if I want to get the, the numbers, these numbers for utilities? I want to know how much did I spend on utilities. Yep, you can do that. Just switch right there from description to category. And you're going to see right there. So you can actually do your own taxes if you want. So utilities is 7,800. So you can plug this number directly. Um, and you can even print that and give it to your accountant if he doesn't want to sit and calculate everything. So if you, if you zoom in, you can print that up. Uh, but yeah utilities right there subscriptions right there software right there i think it has its own uh rent and mortgage is right there uh parts advertisements right there so which is really cool that's why we have we have can we've always had that ca category but we never uh, used it now so we just switch expand and collapse you can do that for the whole year or you can do it for the for the month itself if you have to so um what else I want to talk about that's it for today um so yeah those those are really cool stuff um we added what happened to my camera all right we added all right so the next 
thing that I'm gonna be working on is um, tech hours. I've been um, not like I haven't gave this much attention from from the beginning, and we definitely want to give it some attention. Uh, tracking tech hours. I'm talking about um, right as of right now, like you know, paid invoices. It's only based on paid invoices. We're gonna give uh, a second option. It's gonna be based on paid invoices and or based on completed jobs. So basically, we're gonna give you the option to pay the, your technician. Uh, your technician. Let's say if this is this is not if the customer have not picked it up, but the, he, the technician finished the job. So we're gonna give you a status somewhere right here say he, he did finish the job so that the technician can get paid for that so that hopefully uh, we're gonna start on this uh, pretty soon start um, uh, fixing this and give you more options right here when it comes to technician hours go back to the daily report technician hours um, yep so anyway until next time thanks for watching